Hi and welcome to this track parts tutorial. In this video we will tell you what an alternator and a voltage regulator does, the difference between an alternator with alternating and direct current and we will show you how to diagnose to see if your alternator or voltage regulator is broken so you can replace the correct parts. Looking for the right parts for your tractor? We have more than 14,000 parts in stock and worldwide shipping. Please visit trackparts.com and find the parts you need. New to this channel? Please subscribe, hit the bell and get notified to new videos. Alright, let's get started. So what's the difference? Your voltage regulator ensures that the voltage remains constant and that your battery is not overcharged. It also makes sure that certain electrical parts receive the correct voltage. The voltage regulator regulates the voltage of an alternator to a maximum of 14.2 volts. The alternator ensures that when the engine is running, the battery is charged and the consumers are supplied with power, such as the radio, lightning, etc. So what's the difference between an alternating current and direct current alternator? An alternator with alternating current already has a voltage regulator built inside the alternator. And a direct current alternator uses an external voltage regulator. Now you know the difference between the two of them, we're going to tell you how to diagnose an alternator with alternating current. This one has, as mentioned before, a voltage regulator built inside the alternator. First off, start the engine of your tractor. When you start the engine and your battery light comes on, you know that there's a problem. Remove the engine cover from the tractor. Take the voltage meter and attach the clamp to one of the ground points. Then place the voltmeter on the nut of the alternator. Here it indicates how many volts the alternator produces. In this case, as you can see, it is 12.4 volts. Ideally this should be 14.2 volts, so in this case the alternator must be replaced. Now we are going to tell you how to diagnose the direct current alternator. In our workshop we see many people who are inclined to have their alternator replaced when the voltage regulator is defective. Because if the voltage regulator doesn't work properly, your alternator won't work either. So to find out which of the two is broken, we have to measure them both. First we have to find the location of the regulator. This can be different with every tractor, so it can be located under the dashboard or against the bulkhead. In some cases, it's located at the front of the radiator. Start the engine of your tractor. First you are going to measure the alternator. You put the clamp on the ground and then you measure the alternator by inserting the voltage meter into the plug of the alternator. Then you follow the cables from the alternator to the voltage regulator so you can check whether if the cables are ok or if there's a break somewhere along the way. Once you have arrived at the voltage regulator, you measure how much voltage is going out with the voltage meter. In this case, it is 13.8 volts at both the alternator and the voltage regulator and we see it charging up to 14.2 volts. If one or the other shows a different number below 14.2 volts, then you know if the problem exists in the alternator or in the voltage regulator. And that's it! Now you know how to diagnose an alternator with alternating and direct current and which parts you need to replace. Need more tips? Watch our other videos and share the knowledge. Thanks for watching this track pass tutorial. Until next time.